guys and welcome to my channel sorry this is my second take because i like my video to be recorded landscape instead of portrait so it makes it much easier for me to upload it but anyways hi welcome back um we are going to be doing our monthly opening of september 2021 i've called it a monthly opening because we do also do monthly closeouts as well so that's going to be coming up soon for august but for now we're going to be setting up um september i've already set it up my calendar my partner's looking at me weird he's like what the hell am i doing i don't know if your partners do that but yeah my one does he likes to just sit there and watch me <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we're doing our, um, our September budget, so let me just take these two out. So this is what my September month looks like. This is just a two-page calendar of a month that's split in half. It makes it a lot easier for me because I like to have it like spread out instead of like on one sheet of paper. Um yeah so i've already filled out majority of the things what i don't include in my calendars is my um like sinking funds and that kind of information it's mainly my main expenses and my other expenses as well as my savings challenges that i am starting from next week and those are in a uh, green ink on the right side here we have notes of like important events so we have um, Father's Day, which is coming up next Sunday. And then after that, we have a bonus as well. Um, and my Nana's birthday in the same week, on the second week of September, which is over here. And then at the end of the month, we have um, SJ's birthday, which is on a Monday. And then um, it also says practicum and prize giving. So we did have the netball prize giving on Saturday, but because of the whole lockdown thing, I don't think... Um, we're going to be having that uh so yeah that's apparently it's postponed but whatever and then practicum i was supposed to start my practicum on the first week of september so next week and because of the whole lockdown thing apparently we've pushed it down to the 20th i haven't actually updated it but it is what it is yeah so anyways that is what my monthly spread looks like that's how i have it every month um and i and i kind of like daily check it i mean i check it every day and like update it and things like that cool so i've also updated my monthly opening sheet so this is now what it looks like so i have shortened it i have like reduced so much information because it was kind of unnecessary when i was doing august's um opening and um july's closing so yeah, so this is what we are going to be filling up today based on what I have, <laughs> sorry, based on what I have during the month of September. Okay, so we'll just fill that out. Okay, and for those who do get a weekly income like my partner it is five weeks in september and for those who get bi-weekly it'll be three weeks for me it'll be three weeks and because of this whole lockdown my job as well is closed but we do get a wage subsidy um as well i mean we do get a wage subsidy besides my actual income so i don't know how much that is um that'll be my first week this week in getting it so hopefully I do get my minimum contracted hours as well. So what we are going to do is we are going to start with our income. Okay. Can you see that? All right. So our first income, I have based it on me, my partner, and my student allowance. So 139.37. And then the second week will just be my partner's and my student allowance, which is, where's my cheat sheet? Okay, which is 95937. So I've bumped that up by extra 100 because my partner's been doing overtime. So um, I've just added just the extra 100 on top of that. And in week three, 
will be my pay included. So 125937. Week four, it's going down to normal, 85937. And in the fifth week, I haven't included my wages because we are supposedly, supposedly um, supposed to go to practicum. So if that happens, then that means I'm going back to work. And in that last week, um, I don't really get paid that much. So that would be 8, 5, 9, 37. So altogether, that, sh that includes two. Oh, let me just... Mm -hmm. Let's add that all up. Go five two nine six eighty five. So five two nine six eighty five. So that is what we're basing our month of September. Okay, we are going to our fixed expenses. So rent will be two eighty six per week. So we're going to times that by 5, 1,430, A and Z is weekly as well. So we're going to times that by 5. So that'll be 6, 6, 4, and 15 cents. Cigna is only um, bi-weekly. So by looking at my calendar, we only have two. Oh, wait, we have three. So we'll times that by three. So one fifty seventy five lawns. Um, I was supposed to pay my lawns this week, but because we haven't had our lawns um, mowed because of the lockdown, I'm only going to include it in the next two fortnights. So I pay that. I so said it's forty three forty. Life insurance is fortnightly as well. So we've got one next week and we've got another one at the end oh yeah at the end so that's only twice times two so that'll be 2160 and then rent and own is 65 per week so we'll times that by five okay and let's add that all up Okay, so that'll be two, six, three, four, and ninety cents spending on our fixed expenses. Okay, our other expenses is going to be what do I have on here? Okay, so I do have like the Father's Day and that included in my other expenses, but because they're part of my sinking funds, I'm just gonna add it as events. And supposedly, that's 200. Okay. Shush. Partner's going crazy over here. Okay, online savings, we do put in 25 a week. <laughs> so that would be 125. Okay, and then we also have our monthly subscriptions, but it's only Google. I've cancelled my YouTube and my Anime Lab um, subscription only because like I feel like as though it just I wasn't really using like the premium of YouTube like I don't mind the ads now okay and then yep and then we do have Afterpay and Layby which are our other expenses sinking funds are not going to be added onto this apart from the events okay so zooming out Sorry, we are back now. <laughs> um, I kind of like accidentally exited. So like I was saying, our afterpay, I'm going to be looking at our monthly spread over here. Okay, and then we're just going to add everything that we have starting from the first week all the way through to the last week of September. So just for afterpay. Babe, can you please quiet? I don't know about you guys, but maybe your partner does jokes like what my one does. Um, and it sometimes puts you, put like puts me off. But it is what it is, you know. They just like that. <laughs> okay, so two hundred and ninety-four will be going 
to uh, Afterpay for that month. And then lay by. Let's just keep it real on this channel, y'all. Okay, so I feel like so this is all lay by. I'm looking over here. LB lay by. Mm. Okay, cool. 263. Oh, can't even read. So we have $265.39 going to lay by. All right. Um, by looking at all my other, ex I mean, like expenses and stuff on here, I might add in my savings challenge. So we do have the 52 week challenge, and then we have the 1K challenge that I am starting from next week. So let's see how much we're going to spend on that. Two, three, four, five. Wait, what? So, so this is the 52 week one. So two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, so 20 bucks instead of 52 week. And then the 1K challenge, 10 plus 25, 75, 150, 150, 410. I am so worried, to be honest, about my 1K challenge because I feel like as though, because if you look at the last two weeks over here for the 1K challenge, 150 so if i don't end up doing 150 i mean if i don't do one of the 150s i might just rearrange it to like one of the other amounts because they all end up being the same so the 1k oh. challenge starts off as babe can you quiet please <laughs> so the 1k challenge is for eight weeks and um so it goes like 10 25 75 150 and then it goes back down like 150 75 25 10. So by the end of October, I should be getting 1K. All right. Now back to our spreadsheet. I think those are the only like main other expenses. And now we're just going to add it all up. So this is not including my cash envelopes as well as um, my sinking funds. So it'd be one, three, one eight one there we go and so now we deduct i mean now we um deduct our income source from these two and then we leave with the difference of how much is left so take away 264.90 equals take away 1318 18. Cool. So it says we are left with one, three, four, three. So one thousand three hundred and forty-three dollars and seventy-seven cents. That, so that is for our cash envelopes as well as our sinking funds. If I were to divide, oops, divide that by five, two sixty-eight to work with. Oops. So two sixty-eight to work with. Um per week but we'll see how that works so from there i just leave the difference as it is and then we'll just go straight into our financial goals so our financial goals the main one is always to track spending i've been doing it um really well sometimes i am a bit off by the end of the month or like by the end of the week but i'm only off by a couple of dollars it's not like i'm off by like quite a big amount so i'm not really worried about that and i still want to keep the tracking spent i mean to spend my tracking i mean to track my spending like <laughs> who and then my other one is to start my challenges so that is my financial goal to oops to start two savings challenges my third one is to spend less on groceries to spend less on groceries i'm trying to and then my other one is to increase kids savings and also increase long-term sinking funds and that could be any um that could be any of the sinking of my long-term sinking funds because 
you know, coming up in March, we have a big birthday as well as an unveiling. So I like to make sure that that is um, added. And I mean, that is increased. Other goals are just anything else. So Mia Mapana has started, we're going to start this one. No fizzy for the month. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. And then read one book. And then exercise. At least twice a week. And then um, join a Bible study or reading. Yep. Yeah. So those are my other goals as well. Notes section, that's just anything else I want to add or whatever. Um, yeah, but that is pretty much it for my um, September opening for 2021. I hope it does work well for myself, my family, and I um, hope this plan works as well for you guys and your families um but if it doesn't you know you can always alter it or change it or modify it as however you like but anyways guys that is me for this monthly opening for september i hope you do enjoy it i hope you did enjoy it um and the um yeah that you guys have a also great month a great week great day um and that you keep safe and be kind to everyone else and that um yeah that's pretty much it. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.